Thomas was one of the best cell partners I had over 19 years in prison because we got along, but we weren't close friends, which meant we could hang out, we could make food, but we could also spend days without saying a word, and it never felt awkward. After six years in the cell together, he was being put up for a transfer, and he didn't want to go because nobody wanted to go down to the lower levels where they had to deal with the dorms and the young guys. So he came up with these plans to catch a charge, because if you catch an institutional charge, yeah, you got to spend a little more time, you lose a little bit of good time, but it keeps your security level up, so guys would consistently catch charges to stay at a higher level where they had a cell instead of the dormitory. So he went out and bought a broken fan and sat it right next to him. So when they came in for quarterly shakedown, they couldn't possibly miss the fact that he had two fans and one was contraband. And quarterly shakedown has teams who go cell to cell leapfrogging on each tier. So Thomas was already thinking, all right, I'm going to get my charge. I'm going to be good to go. And they skipped right over our cell because they leapfrog one extra cell, not realizing they hadn't gotten us. And he wanted them to come in there, but it was a bad look to call and be like, hey, officers, y'all forgot my cell. So we went through the whole lockdown without ever getting searched. So the next shakedown comes around, and he's still got the fan, and he's like, all right, I'm good. So the CEO comes in and finds He's like, hey, man, you don't ever give me any trouble. I don't want to write you a charge. I'm just going to take the fan. And he's like, no, bro, like, I need a charge. Like, will you please write me a charge? He explains the situation, and the CEO's like, yeah, cool, I got you. So the inmate advisor, the guy who's basically a lawyer for institutional charges, comes around, and he says, hey, I got a plea offer. They want to give you a reprimand, which means it won't stay on your record. And normally, if guys don't want to get a charge, this is a good thing, because it doesn't go on the record, and they don't lose good time. But Thomas wanted a charge. He was like, no, 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 I need it. Like, can you go back and tell him? So the guy goes back to his boss and is like, hey, he doesn't want the reprimand. He wants to get a charge. And she said, okay, if he wants a charge, I'm going to put him in the hole for 30 days. So Thomas shipped out about six months later.